those of you that haven't seen uh, our operation yet. This is uh, this is our fodder operation. We are sprouting barley barley fodder with some sunflower mixed in right now. Uh, but basically, it's a all natural live enzyme. Um, can't call it organic, I guess, because it's chlorinated water. But go seed to feed in seven days. So you can see here these trays were seeded yesterday. Just barley seed with sunflower seed. Um, you go another day, after they're in here for a day, you can kind of see some of the little white buds starting to pop up out of there. And then you go uh, by day three, you start seeing some green shoots popping up. And of course, then you can see, you know, day four, more and more, day five, thicker and thicker. I think day six is up here. Let's see if it's day six is up here. This is day seven. Here's what we're going to feed today. So you get five, six inches of barley grass and about a two or three inch thick root mat, which is where most of the nutrients are. Uh, but I am, I am convinced this is going to thoroughly help our horses. Um, obviously a good portion of this is, is, is water, so they're going to stay hydrated, uh, which is key in the summer, especially when you're given Lasix. Uh, we ought to have the best hydrated horses on the racetrack, but also just overall total health wise. You know, I've never met anybody that didn't, uh, didn't at least agree that if you could go to Whole Foods every day and eat organic live enzyme cultured healthy you know crunchy diet uh, we would all feel better and so the same has got to be true for these horses um, fodder is is 80 percent digestible um, whereas our our dried processed you know cracked corn beet pulp wheat horse feeds or our research shows only 30 percent digestible so they're getting a whole lot more out of this um, as well as all the obvious health benefits i'm I'm, I'm believing and hoping and trusting that uh, this is actually going to help to cure and prevent ulcers uh, in our horses so we can start kind of stop getting away from using a lot of the expensive daily supplements and drugs like Succeed and GastroGuard. Uh, I'm hoping that this basically takes the place of that. Uh, but this has been about a two and a half or three year project for me culminating with this. Uh, building this took me about two and a half or three months to do. Everything is pretty highly engineered, designed, and it's all totally automated. Uh, automated watering system, automated uh, air, air controls, automated timers. You can see it, it stays at a constant 68 degrees. Got down to 63 last night. 89% humidity right now, so it's a, about a perfect growing environment uh, for any kind of vegetation, different kinds of grow lights and whatnot. Uh, but I'm pretty happy uh, seeing a lot of benefits so far. I think just in the three or four days We are doing some just a little bit of research Veterinarians are helping me out with uh, We're pulling bloods every month just to kind of monitor Blood counts uh, see if they improve at all red counts that kind of thing um, I'm also uh, taking some pictures. I wish I had a scale I could keep keep a weight, but I don't have a scale at this point in time um, But uh, taking pictures once a month kind of gauge overall horse health uh, you know I, I didn't want to spend the money to go ahead and scope their stomachs once a month it would cost a fortune to do uh, to, to, to prove that, that it's it's helping the ulcers but uh, you know I, I believe I'll be able to see enough difference you know if that's going to be the case uh, but I'm, I'm excited about this I think that I'm likely the only racehorse trainer at least on the East Coast uh, possibly in the country that I know of that's doing this um, been a lot of research out there um, so we'll see how it goes and, and I'm excited about it but uh, you know here here at Laurel your horses are horses are getting some of the good green stuff every day so pass it on to your friends or hopefully it might help uh, attract some prospective clients that are interested in seeing their horses uh, you know obviously be, be fed a little bit uh, better way if you want to stop by the barn and take a look at it see how it runs and all that sort of stuff just let me know uh, we keep it locked up, so if I'm not here, uh, you won't be able to get in here. But uh, you know, if you want to stop by and see how how it works, just let me know. And looking forward to seeing you. Bye. This is what a tray looks like we're about to feed. You can see, it's just really, really thick. So I mean, it's just like 
in your lawn only it's barley grass with uh, you can see the sunflowers there's a sunflower sprout right there but the sunflower seeds add some some some, some fat some omega-6 omega-3 fatty acids that kind of thing they're very high in that the barley is very high in protein several of the mats that, that they analyze online you know anywhere from 16 to 20 percent protein that's 80 percent digestible so it's you know, and it's it's good protein. It's it's protein that's not going to hurt them. You know, if you try to feed that kind of protein level to a racehorse with dried processed feed, you'd, you'd probably have some trouble. But you don't have that pro tr tr trouble here because it's it's uh, it's all very healthy and natural. There's no breaks. Yeah, you can go back. I'm trying to record you eating. Go ahead, go eat. You're all right. I've been feeding it now for about four days, and already there's probably probably half the horses prefer it to their feed tub. You can give this and the feed at the same time. They're going to go much on this for a while first. Another love of mine. She's over there munching on hers. Horses, they just got dropped their feed tub. This is reason to believe he'd, he'd rather eat his fodder than eat his, eat his feed. She just got back. Inspired, say I. She's got her head in the feed tub, but she loves it. She'll eat it here in about 10 minutes, I promise you. Got a little vulture here. <laughs> Molly is happy to clean up whatever they don't, uh, whatever they don't eat. Got his. Left. He just left his feet to have to go eat his butter. His misbehavior. She just left her feet to to come over there and eat butter. I didn't put no, she thought I put a mint in there. There's no mints. Go eat, you're all right. It's inspired, say hi, working away at it. She runs tomorrow. Molly's in here helping herself to not for love fillies. Reason to believe is just about devoured his 15 pounds. The Nile just got done, got done doing up. No breaks. Looks like he got half done. This guy here wires. Going to town on it. Another love of mine. I'm gonna put some weight on her. Actually, just got done doing the chores in the shed. It's about an hour later. Another love of mine is just about finished. Skywise. 
Oh man, she actually gets double to get the full prey. No breaks, just about finished his. Goodbye. Not near the Nile, or Prince of the Nile. He's still working on his, but got quite a bit done. No reason to believe. He's, he's all finished. They're not for love, Philly. She just got done training for the loon. She's just starting to munch on hers. So I heard say I. She gets two flakes too, so she ate about half. These behaviors. I'm just back there working on it. Molly. Zapata. He's been kind of our lone holdout. He hasn't really gotten into it too much yet. He's, he's, he's playing with it now at least. He should just stare at it. And we got elevated. He's back there. He's got a little working. He's been working on it. He gets to, he's been trying to put some weight on him. He's, he gets a full mat. 